Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Tuesday lunch chat. I am Sarah coming to you from inside Not Another Half. And today, um, I thought that I would give you guys a little rundown on our sale area because our semi-annual clearance sale is fully underway, kicked off on Friday of last week. And there are so many good deals, but I think sometimes it's hard to envision what you might do with a bunch of sale yarn. So I have <laughs> aggregated all of our samples near me here um, that are for these yarns that are on sale. And I'm gonna do like the full Mr. Rogers treatment and change my outfits. Not, not that extreme, I'm gonna change my accessories. <laughs> But I just wanna show you some of the options, some of the things that you can do with these great sale yarns because there's some good deals. Hi, 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 hi. I hope you all had a lovely <coughs> enough holiday weekend. I know it was a fairly stressful holiday for a lot of people for a lot of reasons. Um, and yeah, we're on the other side of it now, so yay. Uh, where should we start? Okay, maybe we'll just go from the finest yarns to the bulkiest yarns. That's some semblance of order. So I actually don't have a sample to show you, but um, there are a lot of cool things you can do with Whisper Lace, which is on sale right now. And uh, it is a 70% superwash wool, 30% silk. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely yarn. And the yardage is 440 yards to 50 grams. So don't be intimidated by the fact that it's lace weight, right? It, there are so many things you can do that don't involve A, requiring compli uh, knitting complicated lace, or B, knitting on really tiny needles. So for example, I wish I had thought about this a couple hours ago. I have a cardigan underway. It's done like on a size five needle, six stitches to the inch, but it's loose and lovely. It's called the Featherweight Wrap to Knit, I believe. Feather, featherweight Wrap to Knit. It's by Val Love, I think is the name. Anyway, um, four balls of this, and you can do this whole cardigan, and it's gorgeous. And um, there's also really beautiful prints. I'm actually using one of the prints for the cardigan. So that's one thing you could do with just four balls. So you don't even have to have it fully figured out right now. You can buy four balls, have a sweater quantity packed away for a rainy day. Uh, another great thing you could do with two balls, and Jill has one of these underway right now, but it is not here as far as I could tell. <laughs> I did I did try to scope it out, but she has the Church Mouse Alexandra's Airplane Scarf um, on the needles, takes two balls, and it is, t I'm telling you, the, <coughs> excuse me, the most perfect mindless knit. It is a tube knit in the round all the way around that's all you do so it's a really really mindless thing to be great for traveling but it's also really comfy to wear you just get this long beautiful tube is it on the front counter what do you mean by front counter did she bring it she might have brought it do you mean elaborate Julia up at the front counter do y'all mind if I dash out of the video for a second I'll be right back project in <laughs> so here it is here it is it's just a big beautiful tube it's nice and wide and this she's using one of the patterning yarns um, so it gets this really cute striping pattern but it's light and airy and it is so so mm, the, I wish you could feel it so this just you just knit this big long tube so then you can wrap it around your neck wear it like a scarf like a shawl you could scrunch it up and put it around your neck. It's just very versatile. That's Alexandra's airplane scarf. I think it's just two balls of of, um, of the Whisper lace. So that's another option. Okay, that's the lace. We also have Ariel Color, which you could do Alexandra's airplane scarf in as well. Oh yes, church mouse before and after buy a scarf would also be great. Ariel Color is just a, you know, Printed um, kid silk haze type of yarn, um, mohair in silk. So really beautiful, really perfect. 
Um, okay. <clears throat> Next up, we've got a few skeins of some fingering, but there's hardly any left, so I'm just not going to talk about that. <laughs> but we do have Donina from Universal, and we knit up this really cute Ispray hat, I-S-B-R-E, in Donina. So it's got a nice big folded brim, fun little color work chart, slouchy fit, and you just need one ball each of Donina. I, why is that such a weird word for me to say? Um, Donina? Donina? Donnie? No. <laughs> but we have a lot of different colors still available. Um, one ball of each, and you could make the e-spray hat. So super, super cute. Um, in Appalachian Baby Cotton, we have this adorable little baby poncho kit is on sale right now. It's everything you need to make this little cutie pie right here. So you get the yarn, you get the pattern, you even get, <laughs> I just dropped the hanger. So now I got to hold on to it. Um, so you get the yarn, you get the pattern, and they even made a tassel that comes in the kit. So you don't even have to make the tassel. You just have to attach it. Super, super adorable. And that one's on sale. Next. <laughs> um, Correo Patra is on sale. You all might remember Correo Patra because we had the Hold My Beer Mitts uh, fingerless hack come out early, uh, this last fall. But you could get like four pairs of these felted fingerless mitts out of one ball of Correo Patra. It's 100% wool. It's from Noro. Um, Talk to the hand. Anyway, that one's in the sale. And speaking of Noro, another beautiful Noro in the sale. And Jill just finished the night shift cowl in Noro Mirai, M-I-R-A-I. It's a cotton silk blend and how beautiful is this? Honestly, it's so gorgeous. And so let's see, 40% cotton, 25% silk, 25% viscose, 10% poly. So you've got really subtle, beautiful colors. We just chose three randoms. We have a blog post about this right now. If you wanted the exact colors, you could go onto the blog post and it was like something 16 and 29, but it really doesn't matter. We have grabbed three random combos of all, of all sorts of them. They all look beautiful, but just three balls. It's on sale for 15 right now. It's got great yardage. It has 330 yards and you just need one ball of each to make this gorgeous uh, night shift shawl. Let me hold it up so that you can get a better look at how the colors play together. Beautiful. So 45 bucks, you can't beat it. So especially if you are somebody that doesn't need wool shawls or you just find that to be too hot or you would like it to have uh, a little bit more seasonal versatility. It's a great option. Okay. <clears throat> Also in the sale, last Noro yarn in the sale is Tayo, which is a cotton and silk blend as well. And it's kind of a heavy worsted weight, 25% off. And I made my Entrelac scarf out of Tayo with, I think, yeah, just two balls. It's got good yardage as well. So two balls of Tayo and you can make this super fun Entrelac scarf it's our pattern it's um one of those things that is so great for self-striping yarn because it looks like you've done a lot of work mm -hmm. but the yarn did all the work so there Woo! that's a lot of stuff i've got more i'm not done don't get excited um i'm just trying to decide where we'll go next i think next we will head to pirouette so Barocco Pirouette, this is a baby alpaca and merino boucle. Hopefully that'll focus for you enough to see the structure of that. It's gorgeous and soft and airy and fluffy. It really is beautiful and it is on sale right now. And this is the Carbon Copy Cowl by Becca Anderson. And oh, it's like a hug. <laughs> it really is. 
is. It's really lovely, really comfy, squishy. It is, um, it is the perfect winter accessory. And right now you could get a screaming deal on Pirouette. I think it takes four balls. Three, three balls of Pirouette um, to make the carbon coffee cowl. Very, very yummy. Um, <laughs> let's move on and do another cowl, shall we? So here's the Equinox cowl, which we, um, this is knit up in Sakura, but you could also do it easily in Wool Addicts Liberty, which is on sale. So you could make the Equinox cowl. So this is 100% cotton. It's soft as all get out, like unbelievably soft. But we also have a second sample. This is our exclusive pattern for the um, this year's Pacific Northwest Slow Yarn Crawl, and this is called Oregon Summer because it's a bulky shawl, but it's cotton. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Because we don't really have much summer. Um, <laughs> like, it was raining this morning, and it was chilly last night watching fireworks. But this is also something that is fast and easy and cuddly, and it would take four balls of the Wool Addicts Liberty, um, which we have tons of beautiful colors to choose from. So I love this purple right here. Oh, so pretty. Um, there's so many beautiful colors. <clears throat> you could do a classic neutral. You could do color. Oh, this is so soft. I don't want to take it off. Um, just two more. Two more. Three more. How about three more? Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So Lang Chris is in the sale. And I love, 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 love this yarn, but it's just one of those, it's like a special yarn, you get it for a season or two and then it's time to let it go because most people have used it, etc. But I made this cardigan, which Lang names their stuff really, like, maybe Julia will just have to put the link. It's 269-54. <laughs> really, really original name. But this thing is just like the most cozy, comfy, wrap me up cardigan. And I'm not going to be able to step far enough away for you guys to see it. It's got pockets. It's just got a really nice neckline. It just is really, really cozy and squishy. And this was made with Lang Chris. Um, and I think we still have quantity for this. It takes 14 or 16, uh, depending on what size you're going to make. But oh my goodness, it is so, so, so soft and squishy. So this would be a great time to score some sweater quantity of Chris. That's K-R-I-S. I'm all staticky now. My, everything's sticking to me. <clears throat> um, also in the bulkies, I just feel like I'm running my mouth nonstop. Also in the bulkies is Cinema. And this is a really soft, lovely wool with a touch of cashmere. And we've got this hat, this beanie that we knit up. It's called Kate. It's got a nice, fun little uh, slip stitch texture in um, a corrugated, rib, or corrugated fabric. And so you can just do Kate with one ball of cinema and um, goes nice and fast, size 10 needles, I think. But we've got that on sale right now and it feels really nice. This would be a really great yarn to make gift hats for people. So yeah, one skein. Rosetti Cinema, that's the yarn. Done on size 10 needles. Oh, I lied, there's two more still. There's always more, getting bulkier. Is we've got the uh, Barocco Lanas Quick. So this is their beautiful Peruvian wool that they make with Lanas, but this is the bulky version. And we did the Mirror Pond beanie in two colors of uh, Lanas Quick. And you could make the beanie and the matching headband. And lickety split. I mean lickety split. It is size 13 needles. So like truly, truly. Isn't that a cute pattern? That's an Oregon designer, the Mirror Pond Beanie. Um, it is, oh, I didn't put the name on there. But anyway, this has all sizes, so you could easily get two skeins, make an adult hat, make a matching kid's hat, make an adult hat, make the matching um, headband, etc. Have fun with it. It's on sale. Okay, last sample I'm going to show you from the sale roundup. It's my three, <laughs> three acres tote. <laughs> I forgot the name already. So this came out a few months ago. This is in the clean cotton big, which is that this big, big ropey cotton. 
goes so fast. It's like on a size 19 needle, but it makes the nicest shoulder market bag. It's like really good structure, good drape, sits on your shoulder really well. The handle's nice and thick. Takes three balls, and we've got that in the sale right now as well. So really fun. Woo! I made a mess. I made a big old mess, you guys. Now I gotta clean it all up. Let's see, how are we doing? We're doing pretty good. Hey, it hasn't cut me off. That's a win. <laughs> oh, do you guys have any questions about stuff in the sale yarn? Or do you wanna see any more examples of what you could do with something in the sale? Um, there's a few I skipped over. There's some Barocco tiramisu. There's a little bit of amble still left. If you like Fiber Company Amble, it's a beautiful yarn. We have a couple odd skeins. I don't think we, we are probably getting rid of it. We just were down to some um, single weird collection of colors, so it was just easier to put those in the sale temporarily and then bring back a full restock later. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, there is still a few Dream and Color kits from LYS Day in the sale, and they're beautiful. <clears throat> Sally, the sale continues till it's gone. So you kind of take a chance. If you've been waiting, you might wait to see if things get marked down further, but then also if you wait too long, they might be gone. So uh, we do occasionally mark things down further after they've had their time at their initial run. But um, yeah, basically the sale is over when the yarns come and it uh, will go. <laughs> it always does. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, well, if that's it, <coughs> Julia, thank you for giving all of those millions of links of everything that I just rattled off um, in lightning speed. If you missed uh, the names of things, etc., just scroll back up because Julia put it all in there. So all those links are there. You can find uh, the names of patterns, etc., etc. So all right, thank you everybody for tuning in today and seeing our sale roundup. Um, now go shop the sale before it's gone. Oh my gosh. All right. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.